Welcome to episode three of Hacking This Thing. It's a photo frame, and there hasn't been a whole lot of success lately. In fact, this is the current state of affairs. Um, it's not great. Let me just do a quick recap. I filmed episode three like three weeks ago, and you want to know something? I didn't realize that the audio was completely distorted and messed up. So I set out on a mission to get new audio gear, and I did. And so now I got to recap you guys on everything that I did do, because I can't undo it and redo it and basically everything. Okay, so on this photo frame is a NOR SPI flash. And so I have wires hooked up to this programmer. Well, for some reason, the programmer does not read the chip on the board. It could be disabled, write protected, or something like that. Either way, it doesn't matter. I took the chip off the board. I got a dump of it, and uh, we couldn't really see anything going on in the dump, except a couple pieces of plain text. So what I did was I tried to modify those plain text to see if I could see something happen on UART as it was booting up. Unfortunately, nothing changed. And in fact, the device wouldn't power on. So I think the only way to fix this thing right now is to get rid of these wires and put the chip back on this program and flash back the original dump that I took for this board. So let's do it. Get rid of wires and they're coming off no problem. Okay, now the wires on the chip itself. So yeah, you can tell this thing's been sitting for a while. It hasn't been my proudest moments, not gonna lie. I'm not proud of that last one. But I did it, man. All right, and we are good. Now that we have the chip exposed and the solder is looking super duper fresh, I think we can take this chip off the board again. Wait, why is my shirt a different color? Why is this PCB here and this PCB? Oh, I know why. This video is sponsored by Next PCB. Next PCB offers PCB manufacturing, PCBA assembly, component sourcing, free analysis, and mass production. Next PCB is a trusted electronics manufacturing partner, providing high quality PCB manufacturing. Manufacturing, they are your PCBA one-stop service. Maybe you just finished your KiCad files and you have a PCB that you want to manufacture, or you went on GitHub and you found a PCB that you want to make, then check out Next PCB. Link in the description. All right, it's almost up, almost up. There we go. We got the chip off. Here it is. We can now put it on our programmer. Try to make this as quick as possible. As you see the dot right there, that's pin number one. It lines up right there. So now we should just be able to solder this in place, maybe question mark, exclamation point. All right. We'll solder one leg first. That's one, two, three, four. Should just be able to solder these, just tack them into place. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to work. There we go. Eh, I mean, that'll that'll do, that'll do. All right, let's connect our programmer. Let's open up the Neo programmer. This is the programmer we're using to flash our chip. Let's plug in the device and hopefully this chip doesn't get cooked. All right, let's detect. All right, cool, it sees it. All right, perfect. Now we're just gonna open up our photo frame rom dump og and we want to write and verify right yeah and erase there we go okay let's hit that button yes all right it's erasing the memory now we can just let it do its thing and then hopefully it will be okay all right it erased the memory that's good we did the soldering correct even though it looked like crap it's working now we just wait amazing 12 seconds later okay so that is done so we should just be able to unplug it and let's take this chip off i think i might lift pads at this point but at least this board is replaceable and i'm not worried about it oh we didn't lift pads but we have the chip and it is doing a little dance now let's put the chip on the board we gotta make sure we have pin number one you see this little dot right there that should line up with the little dot that's on the chip right here all right we just we don't have to make it look perfect we just need it to work right there we go best way to do this get one leg in first and get the chip aligned properly and the soldering doesn't have to be perfect just needs to work all right it works now we can move this maybe not Okay, screw it. We're just going to push the chip down and just push it into the board and solder those just like that because it just needs to be connected. It doesn't have to look amazing. All right, perfect. Chip is on the board. Now we have to find out if the board boots. All right, we have to open up Putty. P-U-T-T-Y. All right, that's some cereal. Com4, 38400. Perfect. All right, now we need to see this LED light up. Okay, let's do it. Do we get serial UART working? Is it gonna work? Plug the power in. Okay. Oh, oh, it's working. Okay, cool. So we crappily programmed the SPI ROM and it ended up fixing itself. No file in NAND, loaded DB from flash, no file in NAND. So I wonder if the NAND died. So here's the interesting thing about this photo frame. When I took the NAND off in episode two and we tried to read it in the programmer, the thing is, is that it couldn't read. Anything, nothing, nothing. And it was almost acting like the NAND had failed. Now I can't remember back in episode one, or no, episode 
episode two. If episode two has the NAND actually like working where it's not showing, you see right here where it says no file in NAND, I gotta find out what it says, load image. Okay, hold up, NAND, okay, could, Okay, total NAND capacity, NAND capacity, check main flash, flash backup, initial checking, load image two, jump to application. So it looks like the NAND is working. So here's the plan. We have an SD card that I have pre-soldered wires to each of the pins. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to allow us if we solder the correct wires up to the EMMC on the board, as the board boots, we should be able to dump the NAND. And that means copy the entire contents of the NAND with this. Uh, this will go into an SD card reader and then we can just dump it. But the weird thing is, is when we took the NAND off originally, we weren't able to read it. So I don't know how much assistance this is going to provide, except for the fact that if we get it working, then we can put the NAND back on the board and then just interface with this thing. But here's the big problem. You see, I put the NAND back on the board without making a simple schematic for myself on where dat zero is, which I already know where that is. That's not an issue, but clock and CMD as well as VDD and VDDQ, which are the two voltages. And of course we know where ground is. So I'm not worried about that, but we need to take this NAND off and find out where those points are on the board. So we can then connect our SD card reader to the board and then try to dump this NAND officially. Official legal beagle, try to do it. So let's desolder the NAND. Of course we have to remove the programmer. Remove the programmer. Programmer is removed. Now we have to remove this guy again. Now listen, I suppose if I kill this NAND, then we can always try to order a new photo frame and then continue this journey with a donor. Uh, I mean, realistically, if we're going to try to hack something, you might need a donor because you're probably going to mess something up along the way. And that's kind of the way I'm looking at it with myself. If I mess it up, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, time to remove this guy. All right, this NAND is about off the board, almost there. There it is. All right, cool. We got the NAND back off the board. And now we can hit this with the solder wick. Clean up the pads. We're cleaning up the pads. We're cleaning up the pads because we need a pin out to get the correct parts of the NAND that we can talk to. And that'll do. So hit it with a little bit of the old alcohol. If this alcohol bottle would work, I'm going to say this again and again. These alcohol bottles, they suck. They suck because they'll work for a moment. And then you have to take them out, do that, put it back in all the way. And and then, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, now alcohol comes out. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks for not coming out the first time. All right, and clean up the board. Make it look nice and super fresh so we can figure out where those points are. Oh man, I see a problem. We took up a tiny bit of solder mask right there, which is not a problem because I'm not worried about it realistically, but it technically can present a problem. All right, this is dat zero. We need that for data. So that goes to where? To here somewhere. I suppose we can just scrape along this and get it, unless it goes here to here. Okay, let's find that out. We're gonna use a multimeter in continuity mode. And continuity mode, it'll beep. And we can just check here and then check here. That's our dat zero. Perfect. So nothing on the other side, but dat zero is right there. All right, now we now we need to find clock and CMD. So there's one of them. Hmm. Oh, there it is right there. And what about this one? Where does it, does it go to on the other? Oh, you can't look on the other side of the board because this is a giant free freaking connector right here. All right, so we found one of them. Let me look at the schematic and see where this is. The schematic on Google says that this is clock. So we found clock. Now we need to find CMD. Where's CMD? Over here? No, maybe over here. All oh, those obviously go there, so no. Uh, where could clock be at? Maybe it's up here. Trying to find the clock, wherever the clock may go. Mm, nothing, nothing. No, no. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow, nice. So we have clock and CMD. So clock, CMD, dat zero. And then ground is ground. And then we don't need any voltages. We just need those. All right, we got them. Let's put the NAND back on. Do we really need to reball this chip? I mean, like the Balls don't look bad, man. What? I mean, might as well go for a reball anyway. It's just to touch them up. All right, let's reball the chip. Got to find the stencil for the EMMC. Got to find the stencil. Here it is. And it's not very clean, just like so. And let's move the chip up just a little bit. There we go. All right, solder paste time. Uh, Where's the solder paste? I don't know where it went. Here it is. All right, let's put some paste down. 
perfect. Let's head it up with this hot air. There we go. Let's pop the stencil off just like that. Beautiful. The balls are looking better than they ever did. All right, this chip can technically go on the board. And then we have to check UART and make sure it still works. Add flux to the board. Okay, what was pin number one? I believe it was this one, right? That works just like that. Boom, NAND is installable. All right, let's hit it up with the hot air and try to get this chip to seat into place without any trouble. Come on, chip, come on, chip. It's going to just sit right in. Nope. Don't go that way. Nope. Oh, don't go that way either. Oh man, that's that's the that's what I call too much flux right there, boys. I don't care if the chip is not exactly center. That's fine. Nope. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it started to solidify. Let's see if we can nudge it back into place. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's in place. Does the chip work? I don't know. Hey, I doubt it. <laughs> that was horrible reballing. Oh my goodness. All right, the NAND cooled down, and yeah, the soldering job was not very good. I'm not feeling super fluent right this moment. Moment. But this is my own device and I don't care if it works or doesn't. It's fine. If it kills the NAND, it kills the NAND. If it dies, it dies. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. All right, let's reconnect the UART tool. Connect the UART. All right, that's fine. And that is good enough. All right. Let's plug it in, see if it works. We just want to see it boot and see UART lux come out of it and see that the NAND actually works even after we desoldered it. All right, serial, um, four, three, eight, 400. Let's plug in and see if this thing boots and what it looks like. Okay, UART tool plugged in and everything's on. All right, plug it in. Is the NAND hot? Oh, wow, oh, nice. It goes to read from NAND, but it can't because the NAND was not soldered correctly. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an idiot. All right, let's resolder the NAND. Let's desolder the flash tool. We have to redo this NAND again because I messed up. <laughs> that is funny, dude. Funny, funny, funny. Waste of time? Yes. Is it funny? Absolutely. All right, let's get the NAND off the board again. Man, that kind of sucks low key, but it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. We just have to redo it again. Thank you. Perfecto. Oh, uh, yeah, you see the balls combined right there. Ah, uh, oh well. Okay, reball the second time. Now, let's try to install it again hopefully it doesn't float on me and then maybe just float into place this time bring the heat in slowly come on wait 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 oh yeah there it is dips in place there he goes okay let's hope and pray that that was it and that it boots and doesn't boot dude all right we just put the nand back on we connected uart and we just have to see this device boot and not boot loop all right this restart session okay plug it in yay it's working again we got it. It's reading the NAND now. Okay, cool. So the NAND works. Yeah, it says retry, fail, check hardware, which is fine. It's just going to go into its uh, just showing stuff on the screen. All right. Now, following this schematic, so let's solder up our connections. All right. First things first, solder up. Oh, well, I guess we can connect here. Realistically, doesn't matter. Okay, there, right there to that resistor. And then a little more flux to do right over here on that resistor. Resistor right here. It's dat zero. All right. And soldering up this SD card reader right here. It's like this wire is going to be dat zero. So let's hook it up just like that. Way too much solder, but if it works, it works. I don't care. All right. And ground we can hook up right here. That's not an issue. It is a non-issue where we put the ground. Clock is next. This one is clock, supposedly, allegedly. All right. That works. And then CMD. One, two, three. So CMD. This should be CMD. Come on, wire. All right, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's use this nice Walmart on SD card reader. We'll plug this in. Okay. Then we'll plug this in to USB. Okay, that's on. That's on. Literally on. It's an on card reader. All right. Now let's plug the device into power and see what happens. All right, so just to get things in order, I hooked up the SD card reader and the UART at the same time and so our overarching goal is to see what it does on UART as well as see if we can get something out on serial and see if we can get a dump all right powering on in three two one okay oh it's trying to read the NAND and it can't oh oh okay oh 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Did something work? It keeps disconnecting, reconnecting. Hang on, let's see here. Risk management, let's see what, what we're looking at. It keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. <laughs> let's uh, check this out here. Oh, my computer's froze. It's froze. Hang on, wait, no, it's not. Oh yeah, it's froze, hang on. What's going on, is the chip hot? So I disconnect the reader from USB and it's set. Okay, it's trying to read. Check image and flash main. Oh, this is not normal. Ah, uh, it's failing to read NAND. Hmm, it's my soldering crappy. Well, could it be that it's having a hard time reading because this is going on? <laughs> let's disconnect our wires. Maybe we uh, touch something and it's doing something weird. All right, so everything's disconnected. The ground is fine. I, I don't care about that. All right, let's see what it does. So our flasher is disconnected. Let's try to power it and see what it does now. Okay, now it loads image from NAND, no problem. Interesting. And it boots. And it's, yeah, interesting. Hmm. Okay, let me uh, try to play around with it and let me see what I can figure out. All right, I have a hunch. What if we let the device boot, it pulls the image from man, loads it into memory and starts doing its thing, right? Then we connect the SD card reader and see what it does. Aha, uh -huh. see, using all of my brain today. Wow. I'm so smart. All right, let's let the device boot up. Okay, NAND bootloader, the RTC reset thing. Okay, it's doing its thing, that's fine. Wait till it gets to start loading the JPEG. And right, it's like circling back and forth. So, you know, it's gonna say no file NAND, check hardware, that sort of thing. And then it's gonna start loading stuff because it already read from NAND at that point. Yeah, retry, fail, check hardware, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna boot and it's still gonna load images at this point, which you can see on the screen now. It's, it's cycling through a select set of images that's fine all right now let's connect our sd card reader from walmart and we're going to connect it and see if it works <laughs> i knew it dude and it's wait what it's a usb drive wait how does this how is this what hold on is that the correct one disk management hold on okay it's loading it hold on wait where is oh okay eight megabytes of unallocated if that's it hang on let's disconnect oh reconnect it <laughs> So we have eight megabytes of unallocated memory that we need to dump and get access to because I bet you a hundred bucks that's the ticket, man. That is the ticket. Oh, man. Dude, I'm excited. We really made some progress today. I cannot believe this right now. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> so we have we have access to the NAND. Um, and there is an unformatted partition, right? Uh, we don't know what the format is. It could be through Linux. I'm not 100% sure. But we connected the NAND via... Dude, I, you guys have to see this. This is so freaking hilarious how this looks. So we have UART so we can see what's going on with the device. And then we have our SD card reader hooked up to the NAND and we actually have access to the NAND now and it's available and open for ours for the taking. All right, episode four, we're gonna see what's on the NAND. I'll see you guys.